Hey, welcome to day two. We've got Ted Thomas with us, the expert on tax lien certificates, tax deed properties. So picking up from yesterday's interview, Ted, uh, will you please review for my students as I've got my notes here still and again, what a tax lien certificate is? Okay, well, a tax lien certificate is an alternative investment. So half of the states and counties in the United States sell tax lien certificates. Now, all the tax lien certificate is is a little piece of paper like I'm holding up right now. It's just a piece of paper, and you can raise your hand and buy them at auction in half of the counties in the United States. Now, these auctions are conducted by the county. You can't buy them from Ted Thomas. You buy them directly from your local county, or if you want to do it online, you can do it online in over 1,500 counties, all right? So you can buy tax lien certificates. You can earn 16% in Arizona. You can earn 18% in Florida, 24% in Iowa. You're kind of getting the idea. So half of the states sell those certificates. Anybody can buy one. You can't invest with me. You invest with the government, you get a check back from the government. Now, let me say that again. You invest with the government and you get a check back from the government. This is the safest investment in America today. Why is it safe? Because you invested with the government. If you don't get paid on the certificate, you get the property. So don't buy any junk. Don't buy in the ghetto. Buy the best property you can afford to buy because pay someone's taxes. If they don't pay, you're going to get the property. We demonstrated that on lesson one, which you can go back and watch. Those people made a, over $100,000 on a $7,000 investment. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I understand tax lien certificates. Most clients never have heard of tax lien certificates. So right. are they available in every state? Oh my goodness, no. They're only in invested in half of the states and tax lien certificates, I'm gonna hold this up. This is, a, this is just a, a Tampa Bay Times newspaper. Okay, now I'm gonna open the newspaper up. Now it's a regular, it's a regular newspaper. It's as big as one that you would buy like the, like the Wall Street Journal. So you can see, you can see I'm gonna run it up and down. It's, it's a pretty big newspaper. All right, kind of hard to see there. But if I open it up, I open it up, what's inside is just a massive list of over, in this case, 40,000 tax certificates. That's just one county in the state of Florida, in the 67 counties. So there's 1,500 counties nationwide that sell those tax certificates. So there will be, there will be just in the state of Florida, just Florida will have 1 million certificates this year, a million. Wow. Okay. Overwhelming. Yeah. So there's a supply there. That's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so for people that are thinking and myself included, Ted, if tax lien certificates are such a good investment and you shared yesterday, those amazing interest rates, why hasn't my broker told me about it? Well, see, the challenge is that everybody that's in commercial work today, uh, we all are to, to whatever extent. So a broker makes their money on commissions. Okay, if you want to buy stock market, the broker in the stock market is going to make money on commissions. Okay, so most people, and I'm not negative commissions now. I mean, that's the way they make their money. And so uh, most people make their money on commissions. So if you went to an attorney, they're not going to make a commission. They're going to get an hourly rate. So any professional has to get an hourly rate. All right, with tax liens and tax deeds, nobody's allowed to make money on it except the investor. You have to buy them directly from the county. So why would a stockbroker or your financial planner or any of those people tell you about it? they can't get paid? If they can't get paid, financial planners, you, they put you in investments, nothing wrong with that. They have to get paid. They put you in tax liens, they can't get paid. So there's no way they're going to tell you. Yeah. Well, so yeah. hearing from you is, is a good thing. Okay. Right. Most of my clients are from the USA, but can people outside of the United States buy these as well? Well, I actually teach this class in uh, Singapore. I teach it in Thailand. I teach it in, uh, I travel there to Australia to do it. And uh, since COVID, I didn't have to do as much of that, that traveling. Uh, all the provinces of Canada. But all you need to do if you want to be from outside the United States is number one, you have to get a USA bank account. And any country that can work in dollars can do it here. Now, the reason for that is they only speak one language here and they only use dollars here. So, uh, people in the UK, we have clients there. We have all over Canada. So people outside the United States, we have regular clients, uh, uh, literally hundreds of them in places like Mexico City, Ottawa, Vancouver, Montreal, and so on. Yes. Okay. So for those people that are listening, that's that's amazing. That's a really good yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Now you've laid down the foundation, Ted. 
what should I buy? Tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties? Okay, well, I'm positive to both of them. Let me tell you why. Um, I can say to my grandmother, and she could be 80 or 90 years old, buy a tax certificate because it's so safe. In other words, she's going to invest in her local government. She's going to give the money to the local government so it's protected by the property tax code. And then she's going to end up getting a certificate, which is a piece of paper. The point is, once she has that certificate, then, then she, she has a right in that property. And she has a right to collect the tax because she's taken the county's position. All right, so when the people come in to pay the tax, okay, she's going to get all of her money back and she's going to get that high interest. But here's what I like about tax liens. So that's what I like about tax liens. Here's what I like about deeds. Deeds, the government has taken the property away from people. So what if the government took a $200,000 property away from somebody because they didn't pay and I could buy that property, 200000 now. What if I could buy it for 20 cents on the dollar? Wow, I'd get it for $40,000. So the difference between the 40 and the 200000 that margin, that all belongs to me now. So I could sell it for 100000 to make a nice profit. So tax defaulted properties are genuinely good profits of where you can make twenty five dollars and $50,000. So I teach people, buy it low at the auction. Now, don't try to get top dollar. Try to sell it down here low. Buy it low. Make yourself, well, what if you could buy it for 10 cents or 20 cents on the dollar and sell it for 60 cents on the dollar? That would leave a lot of room for one of those fixer uppers or one of those guys that does renovators. So you yeah. have, there's plenty of market to sell the property. So I buy them low and then I sell them low. Now, keep in mind, taxing properties are not new. They're kind of used and abused. Uh, some of them are junk. Don't buy any junk. And some of them just need a paint job and a cleanup and you can sell them. That's what I buy. I buy them online, paint them, clean them, get rid of them. That's it. All right. Well, it makes sense. Tax yeah. defaulted properties, buying the property. So the next question I've got for you, Ted, is uh, should I buy big ones or small ones? I tell people start small because you've got to learn. Everybody has to go through a learning process. So um, one of the things I recommend is why not buy a residential lot in a nice neighborhood, a residential lot, which hasn't been built on yet, but it's buildable. They could put a house on or something. Those properties, very few people bid on because, as you know, most people we know were conceived in a house. Many of them you were born in a house or a hospital. But what do they think about? They lived in a house, so they're buying houses. What about a nice little residential lot that might be worth, uh, in Seattle, they might be worth uh, 200,000. And I can tell you in Riverside, California, they sell for 200,000. But let's say it was worth 50,000 and you bought it for 10. So now you got a nice low price on it. Sell it for 30. You made a nice profit. And what's to worry about? They're going to burn the grass on it. You don't have to worry about vandals. You don't have to worry about squatters. So there's plenty of those. Over 25% of all the properties at tax auctions are residential lots. Yeah, residential lots. Okay, so you could yeah. you could definitely have a nice supply to start small with. Okay, exactly. Yeah. All right, all right. My next question for you, Ted, here on my sheet is: I know we discussed it earlier, and you said people could buy online, and that's fine. But what if I want to go to an auction? Are the auctions big, like a hundred people, twenty people? How many people actually show up to these auctions? Well, the amazing part of auctions, and you'll be surprised about this. The amazing part of an auction. If you go and there's 100 people there, I can just guarantee you there'll only be 20 bidders. It's an 80-20 thing that just always works out. I have people call me and say, Ted, there's 400 people here. And then they find out that there's 50 or 60 bidders. So everybody doesn't know. Most people go to auction because they want the entertainment. They want to watch the whole thing happen. They're not going to bid. Very few people bid. So the, uh, go, to, go to a few auctions. Now, these auctions are all free. Anybody can go to them. But I'm going to tell you right now, a, most I've ever seen, in my, in my view, is about 20% of the people there. So there's going to be plenty of room for everybody to do that. Plenty of room. They, they, there's many auctions they can't sell all the property. I can guarantee you in Los Angeles, they can never sell all the property. They never do. I'll, I'll show you a list of that in, in, in just a minute. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. great supply and not an over demand, which spells opportunity. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, let's see, which is better to go to Miami, a big city and county or a small town and county in like my backyard in Arizona? I would tell you to go to the small towns because you're going to get the feel of it. And it might be more of an on, offline auction. 
For example, the small counties, uh, they don't feel like they have to go to the go to the outside world. So go there and then you can see the people in the room and how they do the bidding and so on. And I wouldn't try to buy the biggest property there. I would try to buy one. Uh, the key to the whole business is being able to sell the property. And most people would say, how on earth can we do that? And we're going to teach them how to do that. I want to show you an example now because I had a guy that was in Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada. And he called me and he said, Ted, I've been in the rental business all these years and the market keeps, uh, I build up my rental business and then the market crashes and, and it brings all the rents back down. Then I got to start all over again. I can't, uh, can't seem to make enough money. And I said, well, okay, what do you, what do you like me to do? And he said, well, I know you've been teaching tax liens. Can I do this in the States? And I said, well, of course you can. And he said, well, I am. Uh, I'm pretty good on the computer. How about if I do this online? I said, why don't we do that? So I taught him to buy in Riverside, California. All right. Now, he bought a residential lot like we were just talking about. Now, residential lots in Riverside don't sell for uh, 20000 They sell for a couple of hundred thousand, okay, because Riverside is about 4 million people and they're all close to Los Angeles or whatever. And so he actually bought a lot, and I'm going to show you this as a video. He bought a lot, and he was able to sell it in 30 days. And so was he happy or what? So I showed him, buy a residential lot. So buy it at the auction. So he bought at the auction for 15 cents on the dollar. 15 cents on the dollar, and then he quickly sold it. Let me just show you this video. You'll just be shocked. My name is Kelly Osmack, and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County, at Riverside. Uh, I purchased it for 35000 and uh, after I got my title, I listed it. It was listed for a month, and I got a full cash offer of $55,000 U.S. Well, now, there you have it. So he could just stop right there and he's made himself 20,000. Now, people throw numbers around all the time. Matter of fact, the newspaper and television they're talking about billions, but he made 20,000 and he never left his basement office. So he could quit. I want you to listen to the rest of the video now. And here's what he did. After that deal, I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five acre parcel um, in uh, Kingston. And I paid 131,000 for that property, uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300 square foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property. It's a really nice property. I had it listed at 280, and I received a full price offer in four days. Well, there you go. Now, on that one, he made himself almost 150 thousand dollars, folks. How many deals would you like to do with that? All right, let me show you the last one. He did all this in California. So, all you Californians that are watching, watch this. I went back to Riverside because it's a great place. I love Riverside for whatever reason. In May, I bought another property. It's another. It's in Desert Hot Springs. It's uh, another five-acre parcel. It's it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's I I bought this property for one hundred and seventy-seven thousand dollars. Five acres of land. I, on Zillow, they had it listed in, in 2011 for $798,000. There's this house, there's, there's a, another 900 square foot nanny mother-in-law house, there's outbuildings, it's a beautiful property. I had a realtor go look at it and he said, yeah, it's, it's in, like from the exterior, it looks like it's in decent shape depending what the inside is. He said it could range for anywhere from you know, 500 to 800. I'll probably clear 100,000 US on that deal. Never. I've never left my basement office ever. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Now, that was a palatial property. He bought at a tax auction and he paid pennies on the dollar. So you're getting the idea. So we teach people let's try to make $25,000, $50,000 a deal. It's happening every day. Okay, good proof. What is the maximum number of tax lien certificates that are available? Oh, this is staggering. All right. Now, I'm just reaching around in my desk here, and I'm going to show you guys. You're not going to believe me. You, I know you're not going to believe me, but I'm going to show you. So this is the cover uh, of an auction that's going to happen. The next auction is going to happen this week from Los Angeles. Every page, every page, it's hard to see on this kind of video. There's eight to, eight to 10 properties on every one of these pages.
So Los Angeles, I've gone to this auction so many times. I've gone five times. I've never seen less than 1,500 properties just in Los Angeles. I didn't say California. I said just in Los Angeles. That's a lot. That's a lot of they can't, they can't sell them all. At yeah. the end of the day, they can't sell them all. It's impossible. It, it, they sell properties. What I'm going to do is clap my hands. Okay. That's how fast they sell a property. Okay. That goes on all day. At the end of end of end of the eight hours, the treasurer said that's all. Our eight hour day is over. They, they didn't sell all the properties. That's how many properties there are. So well, every auction ever, so a small population county, they'll have a couple of dozen, maybe a hundred. A large population county could be 200, 500, a thousand properties. It's overwhelming. And that's why we've been teaching this so long, because we have to teach you how to choose the right ones, how to bid the right ones. Then if you did choose the right one, good job. How about if we teach you how to sell it? We teach people how to sell it. There isn't a real estate course out there to teach you how to sell anything. Everybody teaches you how to buy stuff. We teach you how to sell it. That's the key. You know, you make your money in this business. You make your money when you buy low at the auction. You might sell it at a lower price than everybody else. But you don't get paid until you get to the bank. We teach people to go to the bank. And that's why we're so successful in this business. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You got you to sell at the right price so you can cash out fast, which is what a lot of people exactly. do. All right. Uh, Ted, I heard you say the minimum payment in Georgia, when we were talking before, was 20%. 20%. Is that really true? The minimum you can make in Georgia is 20%. The minimum you can make in Texas is 25 So let me kind of switch gears. You guys are getting a ton of education today. They have what they call a redeemable deed in Georgia. Now, a deed, normally, when they're selling at auction, you raise your hand, you want to buy, they're going to hand you a deed, a piece of paper. Now you're going to own that property. Uh, in Georgia, the property owner can come back and say, I want my property back for one year. So anytime they come back, whether it's day one, day 10, day 365, doesn't matter what day they come back, you have to give them their property back. That's okay. You give it back to them, but they have to give you, the buyer, they have to give you all your money back plus 20%. So they do that in one day, you get 20%. 10 days, you get 20%. 365 days. Some people wait until the 366th day, then it's 30% instead of 20%. That's the minimum. In Texas, it's 25%. And in Texas, if you don't get that, if they don't come in in 180 days, you own the property. Now, I didn't make the rules for this business, but I've been practicing it for 30 years. Everything I'm telling you, you can find in the statutes. What's the statute? The statute is the state law. All right. Love those numbers. Yes. All right. Ted, why would anybody buy tax lien certificates when they could buy tax deeds? Well, see, this is a business to take care of the old and the young. Okay, so all the young guys, they want to make great money fast and get rich. All the old folks, they got great hair like Ted. They want to be very conservative because they don't. They want to make sure they can't lose it. They don't want to take any risk. So if you don't want to take any risk, then you got to get your risk way down low. I can't say the word no risk because it's against the law to do that. But I can tell you low risk in a tax lien certificate. You don't invest with me. You give your money to the local county. You invest with the county. You're going to get your checks back from the county, get your money back, plus 16 or 18 or all the way up to 36%. Okay, that's a very conservative investment. Whereas when you're buying real estate, well, you got real estate risk, right? Someone's going to clean it up. Someone's going to get it sold. Someone's going to make sure the paint's done right, to clean it up, whatever. Because tax to follow the property, let's be honest with each other, they're used and abused now. They're not going to be brand new. But if you can get them for 20 cents on the dollar, you tell me. If you could get it for 20 cents on the dollar... Could you sell it for 50 cents on the dollar? Nice profit margins. Yeah, you, you would think you'd be able to find certain type of buyers all day long for something like that, definitely. Well, actually, we train people to do that. So here's four groups of buyers. Just, just, just put them in your head for a second. One, how about those guys and gals that like to fix properties up? They put a belt on with their tools. They fix them. They love to do that. So there's a whole market you could sell to them. What about those renovators? You see those television programs? They go in, they take this mediocre house. Next thing you know, they make it look like a mansion. It looks so nice, you know? All right? So there's renovators who like to do that. Then there's a part, you hear it all the time. Somebody flipped a property. They bought it today. They sold it tomorrow. Sell it. 
You, there's, so there's three markets right there. There's another whole market that we double our profits on, and that's the market of the people that can't get financing. So the housing market, if you've been in the market at all over the past month and you haven't been under a rock, well, mortgage rates doubled in the past month. Well, if you go and look, a lot of people are priced out of the market. Well, not with me, because I can give them a nice rate on buying one of my properties. Sweet. I love it. Timing is perfect on that. Well, listen, speaking of timing, below this video, definitely click so you secure your spot for Ted's event on Saturday. Saturday. Right. On the 19th, we're going to have another, we're going to have an all day, one day. For you guys that are on the West Coast, it starts at eight in the morning, goes to two in the afternoon. We're going to do a class the whole time. We eat together, we, we dream together, and we're going to learn together. And we'll look forward to having it. You just have to register below. And oh, by the way, it's $47. I'm not an internet marketer. I don't give anything away. I have to make some money because I got staff to pay. So it's $47. So I'll look forward to having you sign up right below me. And we're coming back with two more videos. Yeah, so obviously $47. Ted is the absolute expert for decades. I knew of Ted decades ago, so I'm truly honored to be able to share this screen with Ted right now. So take advantage of this. The timing is perfect. Anything you've ever heard about tax lien certificates or tax deeds, those people learned it from Ted. Ted is the source, the authority. So definitely take advantage of that. And then watch for my email tomorrow where we will continue with this interview. I've got more questions here for Ted. If you're even halfway into, interested and you want to be doing things in this market right now, definitely watch for my email tomorrow. Definitely sign up for Ted's event on Saturday. Until then, I will talk to you soon, Ted, and look for my email tomorrow.